Hey everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and on today's video, we have a first look at the Arcade 1 Up Centipede Atari Legacy Unit, thanks to our good buddy Peter McNabb, who's the first human alive to actually receive this, and my other buddy from the Arcade 1 Up Canadian fan page, Carol LaFontaine, for filming it. We'll show you more about it right after this. That's right guys, today on the channel we're going to be taking a first look at the new Arcade 1UP Atari Centipede Legacy Edition cabinet that isn't even officially released now. Only one human being somehow flukedly received the cabinet from Walmart.ca. That's our buddy Peter McNabb in the Arcade 1UP Canadian fan page. Before we get started, I want to say thank you so much to everybody for tuning in to today's video. I always appreciate the support, and if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you see, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications and all that YouTube jazz. So today we're talking about the arcade one up centipede legacy edition cabinet and this thing is absolutely beautiful so guys, ever since this cabinet was first announced from Arcade 1UP, actually leaked because of some Instagram photos that had gone up, everybody's been super excited to see what this cabinet was. Instead of just a new legacy cabinet, it almost looked like a deluxe model with the heightened extra side panels, the arcade accurate form factor, the beautiful new marquee, the waterfall deck, the volcano buttons. This thing looked like it was going to blow everybody's pants off. This looked to be an absolute shit your pants cabinet. Of course, leading up to the release, we did in fact find out that the monitor in the cabinet was potentially going to be no longer a BOE monitor, and Arcade 1UP was actually transitioning, at least for these legacy cabinets, to a new TN monitor like they used in Wave 1, TN 5x4 monitor. So we were losing the 4x3 BOE and moving to a TN 5x4. So we were a little anxious that they had this absolutely beautiful cabinet released at a price point that was surprising compared to other prices that Arcade 1UP have been giving out to us recently, $4.99 as compared to what we expected $5.99 and up, but we were getting the downside of the 5x4 TN monitor. And after the debacle, which was Golden T, which was the first TN monitor that Arcade 1UP had used in quite a while, and the issues we had with the screen washout and discoloration on that, everybody was maybe a little bit nervous about TN monitors coming back to the three-quarter scale as well. Fast forward to just a couple days ago, out of nowhere, our good buddy Peter McNabb in the Arcade 1UP Canadian fan page. He also posted this on the Global fan page as well, but I'm from Canada, so I want to throw a little shine towards this group. Uh, he had actually received his Arcade 1UP Centipede Legacy Cab. Funny enough, a couple days before this, he actually got a shipping notification, and he just posted a quick brief message to say he got a shipping notification. I was like, nah, must be some kind of screw-up, but sure enough, Walmart.ca somehow to one individual release the arcade one up centipede legacy edition so uh, peter is the first human in the world to actually receive it and everybody was harassing him online look at this it actually arrived okay we need pictures and then some jerk said quit your job we need to know Man, oh man, the gall of some people, right? Anyways, Peter unfortunately wasn't able to build it when he first received it on Friday as he had uh, had some busy plans. He was also feeling a little under the weather and hurt his back, but my other buddy from the Arcade 1UP Canadian fan page, Carl LaFontaine, was super willing and anxious to help Peter out, get this up and running, and show the community what it looked like. So Carl actually went over to Peter's house last night, helped him put it together, and they shot this quick video giving you guys some overview and insight into what the cab built looks like and what the screen quality and play quality is for the cabinet all right so here it is and it's glory the new atari legacy centipede cab from the sides and let's move uh, to the control panel and uh, it's slightly angled i don't know if you can see it from here slightly angled it's kind of neat you got the beautiful volcano buttons the correct alignment for, you know, playing Missile Command. The trackball, uh, one thing here, on the renders it was a white casing, but it's black casing, so I guess it's classic. And here's a look at the, you know, current online, you know, leaderboards. And this is the menu, so use the trackball to move from the different games. And obviously Lunar Lander doesn't have any online leaderboards for obvious reasons. 
And uh, you get the background with some cool retro arcade games that we love. And if we want to move to a different game, uh, well, different games, you hit the page. And you can hit page three for some more. All right, so you get the settings. I'm not going to show you all the settings. They're pretty much the same as on the Tempest Cam. Uh, but you, you do have smoothing, uh, which I didn't, don't remember on this, if it was on the Tempest cap. So you have smooth, smooth, smoothing effects, uh, for all of them. And so the big question is in regards to the screen, right? So the screen is, it feels, you know, like what we saw with, um, Gen 1, 5 by 4 and the depth of the black, um, and, uh, you know, you get a bit of a washed out effect if you go to the sides. And if you're pretty tall, you're gonna have that effect maybe, you know, on a more regular basis. Uh, I'm 5'9", so it's not that bad. If you move away here, you see, you know, the class of 81, and the blacks are a bit, you know, they're better. So all in all, a beautiful cab, and it has a really, really nice marquee, I must say. If you compare like the class of 81. I know, you know, the, the background was black, but it's really washed out, and that's probably one of their worst marquees ever. Centipede is beautiful, really nice. You know, comes out really perfectly. And the other question that was really popular, I think, that people wanted to know is for asteroids. Have they fixed the sound? And the answer is yes. And so now when you shoot in asteroids, you won't hear, hear the sound, um, you know, twice. So it's just gonna be normal. And that's all thanks to Peter, who buys his cabs from Walmart here in Canada, and he gets them super early, super early, like the first in the world. So guys, there it is, the Arcade 1UP Atari Centipede Legacy Edition cabinet. I gotta say, this thing is beautiful, probably one of the nicest cabinet builds Arcade 1UP have ever done from everything I see there. I'm absolutely in love with this cabinet. I mean, the moldy coin doors, the waterfall overflow uh, control panel, uh, the bezel. I mean, I just love the original uh, Arcade Centipede cabinet, and they've done such a good job recreating the look of the cabinet itself here. Uh, you guys know I was supposed to have this exclusive look. Of course, they posted to the pages. You can see Carl's post here in the Canadian fan page. He also posted in the global fan page, but again, I'm Canadian, so I'm trying to give the shine there. You can go check it out there if you want. I want to give credit to the people who originally did this, but I also wanted to make the video as well because they asked me to do it. So guys, first things first, I'm going to play a little video here, but I will tell you, um, some people are posting, screen looks good, and it might look good. I've got to see it in person, but as you can see here, this is the screen from an angle on the side, not directly in front of it. So from a distance, you can notice there is uh, some discoloration, which we were nervous about these screen, which was normal with the TN monitors. But the feedback I'm getting from Carl and from Peter is that it's really not that bad. It's, uh, you know, on the same level as the Wave 1 cabinets. And I had a Wave 1 Street Fighter and a Wave 1 Centipede in my collection for a long time. And I love playing on both of them. So if it's at that level of discoloration and washout, I'm okay with it hopefully it's not worse but you can see here completely blue and as we go up closer to the screen what it's supposed to look like you can see the color come back into it not blue at all so early a little bit of a concern from a distance but as you can see the viewing angle here as they move the camera up closer doesn't look like we're going to have a whole lot of issues. Of course, we've got those beautiful volcano buttons. First time ever on an Air K1 Up cabinet. Looks good. I am a little underwhelmed by the fact the trackball doesn't have that white ridge they talked about they were going to include. These buttons aren't white, and the spinner's not white. I think all white actually looked a lot better on this control panel, but I guess it's economy of scale, and they just wanted to use products they already had in stock. I'm not sure. Another thing I really like, I love the UI for this cabinet. Instead of just just a mix of games all on the one screen. They actually have individual screens for you to go in and bring them up. They've also got settings. They said they included softening because who the hell doesn't want that horrible Vaseline filter? I don't know why that was included. So I want to move forward now and show you some gameplay. They compared the two screens. You can see there's zero washout on the 17-inch BOE over there. But as we've got the 17-inch TN monitor here, uh, you can notice there's definitely some contrast differences with the screen. Marquee, on the other hand, 
looks amazing, which is what they're talking about here. The other thing about Centipede I do want to mention, if you can go back to the screen, is I am a little concerned that this is, in fact, the squat version. If you remember, Tempest had a squat, more horizontal version of Centipede, and it looks like it's the same version that's included here. I don't know if there's any option that hopefully up there to actually move it out. So overall guys, first impressions, this cabinet is absolutely stunning. It looks even better seeing somebody actually have it there in person than the studio stills and renders we previously got. This cabinet is gorgeous. We all knew it was going to be gorgeous. The original Centipede is gorgeous. Eric K. one up went all out on recreating it here in the three quarter scale. I give them full props for that. This is an absolute shit your pants cabinet. It's gorgeous. It's definitely the kind of thing you want displayed in your arcade. Where it falls apart a little bit is the screen. Of course, at uh, a distance and a varying angle, there definitely is noticeable washout on the screen. However, you know, that's just for people who want to see the screen off in the distance. Once you get in front of it, it looks absolutely so much better than what the Golden T monitor looked like in person. Again, I've got an experience in person, but from the video we see there, it looks like it's a night and day experience compared to what the Golden T was. Of course, there is some issues with the contrast, but as long as it performs as well as the Model 1 Centipede, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I wasn't unhappy with the Model 1 Centipede, so as long as it's not the level of, uh, you know, contrast issues and discoloration that Golden T experienced, I think we're in pretty good shape here. The monitor's not that bad. As B Kong would say, it's playable. Of course, the only other thing that I really was super unhappy with there was the fact that it looks like the version of centipede they're using is still that kind of stretched out weird aspect ratio centipede of course centipede is a horizontal game should be a little bit more squat i don't know why they didn't do that i had heard a rumor in options you could change which version you wanted to use but of course i didn't have a chance to play it myself and check so i didn't see there overall I think this cabinet is an absolute win at $499. Of course, it's disappointing that the screen isn't as good as a BOE monitor because the BOE monitor absolutely kicked ass, but it does look, as B Kong says, playable. And everything else about the cabinet is absolutely amazing. And from what I hear, Carl said Peter loved it. For you guys that saw his original post, you know he was a little bit trepidatious on whether or not he was going to keep it. But seeing the cabinet in the room, he's absolutely in love with it. And he loves the Wi-Fi and online leaderboards. So good stuff. We're getting positive reviews from him. And from what I can see... It's a pretty positive review as well. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. What do you think of this first look at the Arcade 1-Up Atari Centipede Legacy Edition cabinet? Are you happy with it? Are you surprised at the performance of the screen knowing it was going to be a 5x4 TN monitor? Let me know all your feedback, thoughts, everything in the comments below. I want to say thank you so much again to Carl and Peter for sharing this with me and allowing me to be part of this uh, big occasion for you guys. I also want to say thank you so much again for tuning in. It really means a lot to me, guys. I really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, this is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.